This is Brother Teacher. Uh, today's date is the 5th of February 2022, Saturday, and I'm uh, commenting on some so-called breaking news uh, as of a few days ago where another black man another young black man if you will was in my viewpoint murdered by the police Amir Locke 22 years old in Minnesota Minneapolis Minnesota from the information that I obtained observed and listened to thus far There was a search warrant that was issued for several suspects in an apartment complex, from what I understand. And the police came to this one physical location. They entered into one residence with a key. This was supposedly a no-knock warrant. Uh, excursion for lack of a better word or intrusion even a no knock warrant that's what it was supposed to have been and so the police used a key and you'll see it in the video if you have not already they used a key to enter the premises once they opened the door they began to shout out who they were, it was at least police officers. You could tell by the bodies and the arms and so forth as they entered the residence. Amir Locke was asleep on the couch in the main living room and or room as they came in under a blanket and as he began to emerge from underneath that same blanket they state that they saw the barrel of a gun and they made a split second decision that there may have been imminent danger to themselves and the one police officer felt like to protect himself and the other officers they need to fire from what I could hear in the video the audio there was at least three shots into his body killing him now, I did also notice, and you'll see the same in the video, the one officer had his gun hand pointed out. There was an officer behind him that moved his arm over to the side. I don't know if that was to help him have a better aim or just trying to be optimistic. Or if it was to signal that he should stop shooting now. The suspect was down or alleged suspect come to find out from what we have ascertained thus far Amir Locke was not a suspect Amir Locke had a concealed carry permit for his weapon he was licensed to carry a gun at the age of 22 so now they say that there's further investigation ongoing from several departments to include the Minneapolis police and so forth all parties involved in this so-called homicide investigation that brought them to that residence in the first place. So let me say this. First of all, from what I gathered from the news, there were 17 states that banned the no-knock warrant law. Minneapolis was one of them. That's a strike. They were not supposed to enter that residence with a key at all, the way that they did. So that was wrong. Number two, you killed the wrong person. You shot someone that could potentially, allegedly not be the individual that you were seeking out. How are you going to bring them back? 
How do you bring a mirror back? How do you recompense? Hmm? How do you do this? Now, another thing, just a footnote. What warrants you shoot someone, and especially shoot them dead, when you come into their place of residence the way you did when they were asleep? Reminds me of Breonna Taylor. When they were asleep, and you think that there's a threat to you? I mean, I'm talking to all police officers that may be watching this video right now. Anyone in law enforcement, anyone in politics, judges, lawyers, whomever. If someone was standing over your bed shouting at you and you were asleep, how would you respond? And then the statement is made, if there could have potentially been an imminent threat to the officers. First of all, you're standing in my living room shouting at me and I'm asleep and you startle me. What do you expect me to do? How could I comply and get on the floor or anything else and you just awakened me? out of a sleep. How much time do you think it takes to respond to your commands if I was just sleep? Think about this. Now, this is what really bothers me here is this. The police ch chief, I heard the mayor speak, but the police chief spoke and she said, revisiting our policies, going back and over our, going back over our policies on policing and these types of matters, if you will. It's hard for me to get this. And if I was a person who used expletive language, I would be cursing up a storm right now. Me. But this is hard for me. How long have the police industry existed? The police departments existed? How how old is policing, policing that you have to keep go re visiting policies. You don't have this down by now. Stop killing black people. Stop killing black people, young middle-aged black people, and trying to dress it up later on, trying to do damage control later on, when you know you are wrong. Now, he's, he's left with a grieving family and friends because he had his life taken needlessly. This is common sense. The way in which you encroach upon that place where he was sleeping. The way you came in, in other words. And you expect him to comply and he sleep. Come on. And you made a split second decision if your life could have potentially been in danger. But you're in my residence. You didn't knock on the door. I didn't have any time to respond. So now I'm dead. Can you bring back Amir's life, Minneapolis? Can you do it? So what's the compensation now? How do you right that wrong? I'm serious. How do you do that? Oh, that's right. We're going to throw some money at it like we usually do if you lose. This has to stop. It's going to stop. That's it. What do you think?